have a fire to start it properly, you have to open up the doors, grab one of these pokers with the hook on it. Look inside, all the way inside, you'll see a little hook around the ring. Pull it down and out and forward to you. That's to make sure that the damper is open or else you'll fill the whole house up with smoke and fire and then the alarm system is gonna go off. Now, you need to grab a couple pieces of kindling wood. Usually I take one piece, put this on the bottom like this, open this up, open up a package and you'll find this fire starter brick. You put it inside here like this. Take a couple pieces of wood over here. And stack it up on top of the wood like so. All I do is to make like a little teepee so that it lights up. You can take a lighter that's sitting on top of the fireplace. Apparently it's not gonna work now for me here because I'm trying to make a video. You can also pause it. Sometimes it's easy to take a couple pieces of paper Put them on the bottom of this so this can get going. I don't know if you can hear the wind roaring outside. You light the paper. The main thing to be very careful of is that this damper is open. Apparently the paper is water fireproof. It's going. And then you can take a log one in the front like that. And then you can put two pieces like this crisscrossing. The whole idea is to get the flames to come roaring through the middle of this. And then if you close the doors, it'll cause a convection because there's a fresh damper inside. If you look below, you'll see that the flames will start start really flaming up. It usually it takes, if you got a couple pieces of paper underneath and a couple pieces of uh, kindling wood on top, the fire will start going. And if you keep the doors closed, you'll start building a fire very fast. It'll be very strong. And then after about a minute, you open the doors and make sure that the screens are closed so nothing pops out. And that's it. Enjoy.